everyone. It's Mel from Melamori Nursery. Happy Saturday. Today we've got Sabrina with us. And Sabrina is my 16 inch full body biracial drink and wet silicone uh, baby doll. And she always comes out with her blankets that are in her cradle. She has a wooden cradle, especially for her. Um, that I thrifted uh, and I have gotten her in I think the last video I made of Sabrina was a month ago and I put her in this cute little outfit here and she's got her little soother in she's a really cutie pie she has no armatures but she is made of medical grade silicone and um, so she holds her, she's not so floppy, but she is very, um, very well made of that material. So I'm gonna move all these blankets aside. And that's her little lovey there. And I've called the lovey mouse, just mouse. So Sabrina's little lovey is mouse. And I'm gonna take out her soother so you can all see her little face. Um, she takes a small silicone pacifier. Very, very special for her because her mouth isn't very big. And she does have a tongue, um, but no gums. So let me just bring her up to show you all how lovely her mouth is and her little tongue. I mean, it's kind of a, a weird kind of shape. Um, she tends to wear this hair bow quite a bit because... Um, normally with most of the outfits she has, Sabrina's bow, most of the outfits kind of fit this one bow. And I'm actually looking around seeing if I have other bows that might go. I know I tried for a while to get these bows here to fit her. Um, but I don't know, like I'll, I'll try it on now. To me, they just look like a garter belt. I don't know. Like I got a whole bunch of these when I ordered, um, I ordered some booties and these were part of it, these headbands, but to me, they look like garter belts. I don't know. I don't really like them. So I haven't been using them, but I had ordered those with Sabrina in mind. So today I'm going to take her out of this cute little outfit. I'll just take her little bib off so you can see it. Really cute little sleeper set. As most of you know, I was on a mission to get Sabrina clothes because she is only 16 inches. Um, and I have now a good wardrobe for her. Um, good in the sense of, you know, she's got everything she needs. She has a knit outfit. She's got a couple of dresses. She's got some sleepers. She fits this one absolutely perfectly. These were purchased, this outfit, and the one I'm about to put her on was purchased um, by a company, a lady who owns Kitty Winks. And I'll do a hashtag below so you'll be able to see. Uh, and it's an Etsy shop, and I'll see if I can't uh, link the Etsy shop below. A uh, very excellent service. Um, from from that company I highly recommend them so I want to change her and put her into um, one of the outfits that came um, which is this lovely pink dress with the flowers on it as I've been mentioning in my videos lately it's been very spring-like um, and I've wanted to celebrate you know with flowers and you know it comes with the little bloomers these may be too big for her but what I really love about the outfit is it came with this white sweater that says blessed. And I think that'll look just darling on her. And also these socks, which have the blue on it, which may be too big on her. But we'll see. They may be too big, but um, I'm wondering if I have booties nearby just in case those... Um, if those socks are too big, I'll, I'll use these booties. And these booties and this headband, oh, pardon me, they sort of were the combo deal. Um, but like I said, the headband to me just reminds me of 
I don't know, a garter belt at a wedding. So, and, um, yeah, I, so she's got, she's got this whole set comes with these mitts, which is really lovely because she's silicone and it has an undershirt and everything. And I didn't bring her an undershirt. So she'll have to remain with this, um, there I go saying undershirt again. She'll have to remain wearing this onesie. So I, um, one of, one of the topics that I was talking, I had, my girlfriend and I were on the phone and we were talking about aging and birthdays <laughs> and what years were the ones that we kind of felt the hardest or felt were difficult. And she mentioned hers was 45, um, and I hope, sweetheart, you know who you are. I hope you don't mind me mentioning this. But um, at 45, she was like buying face creams and, you know, um, this is little Sabrina here. Look at her little feet. I always have to show feet. Oh, she's got something on there. Some little glitter got in there. Um, her silicone is actually amazing. Just amazing. And in the hashtag below, I'll, I'll write, um, as I always do, um, where she came from and her creator. She, she, oh, I wish I can think of it right now. It evaded me. Usually I, I bring my book over and I haven't been doing that. So, um, but I will put it down below who, who, um, created this little darling girl. Um, and let me just pull this off so you can see her little fisted hands. She's got, she's hanging on to stuff, but she's not at all sticky. So she's completely like, even though she's, you know, uh, silicone, she doesn't really, she's got bends in her arms and bends in her knees. And she's just a beautiful, beautiful doll. Plus, she's a drink and wet. So she can wet her diaper. She's an anatomically correct. She's got combi hair. She's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm off topic. The topic was... Um, I'm wondering if I even need the gloves for this outfit. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. But seeing as this is so wide, I don't really think I need it. Um... So yeah, my girlfriend was saying that her her hard struggling age was 45. I think mine was 30, to be honest. Um, I never had a problem with 40. And I don't have a problem with 50. But 30, I had a problem with. It was like 30 came and um, I had my children really young. So... Um, when 30 came, it was, oh, look at that. I didn't even cut out the tag. Um, nursery time is the outfit. Where's the scissors? Yeah, when 30 came, my girls were already, you know, approaching 10, 8, and 6. And that was about the time that I, I joined the forces. That was... Uh, 9-11 actually was exactly when I joined the forces. It just happened to coincide, ironically. Um, and so that delayed my entrance by two months. I joined on February 9th um, after 2011. And, um, or after, sorry, after 9-1-1. So the year after. And, um, and it was a whole different decade for me. So my 20s was about raising my, my little ones. Why has she got glitter? There must have been glitter somewhere in one of the bags near her cradle because she has glitter. You're a glittery baby girl. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to get that glitter out of there. It's not so bad. Um... So my 30s was all about going from being a stay-at-home mom 
where I took in kids and I did other jobs. You know, I think that undershirt has to come off, folks, because it won't demonstrate the stress very nice. Okay, baby girl, let's start you off again. Um, and then from my 30s, I went off to basic training. And that was really hard because I had to leave my girls to go off to basic training. And um, basic training was definitely not, not an easy thing. Um, I was physically fit. But for the first month, believe it or not, of basic training, uh, we didn't do a whole lot of athletics. What we did was a whole lot of sewing. So 30s for me was about joining a new family, which was the Canadian Forces, and learning how to live in that new family and raise my girls and work as a fully employed military uh, servant, basically. Um, member is what they called us. So that's little Sabrina in her birthday suit, except for her little diaper. She's really, really uh, sculpted well. And then when I'll turn her over, she's got, she doesn't need to be powdered, but she's picking up a few things. See how her, she's got beautiful sculpting. So my 40s, until I was 13 years in the forces. So um, then I went back to college and university to upgrade my um, I'd been a writer all my life, but editing was not my forte. Uh, when I was in school as a kid, um, I sort of got advanced promoted through the grades because I had an ability to write and they didn't focus so much on the grammar aspect of it. So I went back to college and passed through all of those really quickly and got my degree. Um, but I still, guys, I still, I still have an editor. Uh, I still need an editor. Um, I invent my own words all the time and I, I'm gr grammatically incorrect much of the time. And um, this is really cute on her. Um, and so I went back to school. I got my degree, essentially. And man, she's so cute just like that, isn't she? Look at her. She's just so cute like that. So she can hang out for a minute before I put any socks or anything on her. I don't know that these socks would actually go. To me, they don't seem to match the pink. Um, so I'm wondering if she needs booties. If I put this little sweater on her, I wonder if it'll wash out the dress. Um, and then I, it's funny because even when I'd gone back to school, I, I was already employed um, as a mental health writer. Uh, for, for various insurance companies. So that happened really in tandem. It, it happened just about the same time. And um, so I did that. So all of my 30s and 40s kind of seemed to fly by. And so my friend was saying that, you know, she feels like 60 was going to be or is going to be a hard age. And, you know, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the hardest age, I, I think like for me, 30 was the hardest age hitting 30. I don't know what it was, maybe because I spent my ent entire twenties being responsible and being the mummy and raising little babies and, um, doing all of that stuff, but 30 was definitely for me the the year that I struggled with. So I'm really curious for everybody that's watching me. This sweater is absolutely massive on her, isn't it? It's supposed to be three to five pounds, but it's massive. She's such a tiny little thing. Such 
a tiny little thing. I don't know if I want to keep it on. I'm going to try it on and then maybe I'll remove this back down to just the dress. But I'm curious to what age you guys all feel is the year that you struggled the most. You know, was it an even year, like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70? Or was it like at the half point, like 25, 35, 45, 55, that kind of thing? Or is it something completely different? You know, is it you just approach each year and accept each year as it is? Because I find that after I hit 30, I just came to terms more or less with every year and every year's challenge. There seemed to be a personal goal or a personal challenge to every year. Unlike the uh, New Year's resolutions, I always looked at my birthdays as what did I do? What did I accomplish? What do I need to accomplish? What goals do I have? That's sort of what I I kind of um, kind of looked at. So that's what she looks like with the sweater and the booties on. She looks kind of, I don't really want to do up the buttons. But that's what she looks like there with everything on. Now, I wish I didn't have to put the same, same bow in her hair. Because I'm always putting the same little bow in her hair. Let me try it on the other side. She hasn't got a whole lot of hair to this bow kind of reminds me of Minnie Mouse in some ways. So what's yeah. Now where is that going that way? Maybe it's supposed to be at the top of her head. Um, so that's little sweet Sabrina there. Where's your little mouse? So I'm really curious, you know, I'm, I'm really curious to all of your stories of what, what age you guys found, because, you know, it's not only men that have, you know, what they say is midlife crises. I think women get to a point too in their lives where they're like, they reach that maturity where their mind kind of stays young, but they also have another part of that mind that says, you know, there's certain things they won't do anymore. And, or there's certain limitations or certain boundaries or healthy boundaries, like I like to call them, that they've achieved, you know, certain, you know, levels of achievement that they've made, you know. She really is cute. So I guess, yeah, I guess today's topic is really about what age did you struggle most with? And, or if you haven't struggled with the age, what age was your best year? Um, what age do you think that you still are mentally, even though your body, <coughs> pardon me, folks, even though your body has grown and your age must have advanced or has advanced, what age in your mind do you believe you're still at? How, how old or young do you feel? These are, these are really curious questions to me. And I write a lot about these kind of issues. Because when I write for mental health, of course, I, I have to broach this topic quite often. Now, let's just get her little blanket up here. So I'm always curious when people tell me that they feel um, that they feel like they're 30 in their mind or they feel like they're 40 in their mind um quite honestly my oldest daughter is 30 years old and I don't feel much older than that I don't feel much older than that I know I am 
I've gone through the years. I have the experience. I, 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 I can think of all the memories and all the times and all the things that I've done. But I honestly don't really realize how I've gone through all of that. Um, and all of us have had some sort of a road. We, we've had to. And that road hasn't always been easy at times. And yet we end up in this day... And sometimes I, I wake up and I think, was that really me? Did I really do all of that? You know, and I'm sure for many of you, if not all of you, you all have story upon story upon story upon story that would just floor everybody because our lives are so uh, tumultuous and full. And, and yet... What's even more interesting is that we have this common bond, which is this Dolly community. And um, the other topic that sort of came up was I was reviewing some of my old, like, beginning videos of why I started this hobby and some of the reasons that I started this hobby. And... Um, You know, I think one of the biggest things that I've noticed for myself since I started this hobby is that these dolls allow me to slow down and really take in the moment, really become mindful of the moment. Sometimes I forget I'm even filming and there's gaps. I don't know if you all have noticed that. Comment below if you've noticed that. But sometimes I'll be just here and I'll even forget that I'm filming. And um, and that's just because I'm in awe of such work. You know? Um, Heidi Lynn was Sabrina's sculptor. Um, I think she's from California. A lot, a lot of times, even without the book, the, the information will come to me. It's like ingrained in my brain. I'm more of a numbers person. Um, and, and that's the other quirks that I have too. I don't, I don't know if you guys have any of those where, you know, you might not remember names, but you'll remember a person's phone number. I'll see somebody that I went to high school with. I don't know their name, but I can, I can give you their phone number that they used to have on a landline from, from the, you know, early 80s, you know. Um, it's it's little tricks of the mind like that. That, to me, is, is part and parcel of this mysterious thing we call aging. So I'm really curious to your answers. I'm really curious to know um, what age. And, I you know, it's funny because having Sabrina here, uh, for this topic is really curious because she is a preemie. So when you have a preemie, the clock doesn't really start until the gestation period really actually happens. So say an infant is 32 weeks old in gestation and born, they're eight weeks behind. So their birthday really isn't counted uh, in development terms until they catch up to that eight weeks. And often, um, a preemie, those eight weeks make a huge difference because lungs, brain, uh, muscle development, um, communication skills, all sorts of different things with a preemie. So, you know, having Sabrina here triggers that, uh, discussion in me simply because she is a preemie. She is a 16 inch preemie. And um, so that's my topic. A little bit scatterbrained, but I tend to be. I'm really curious to your answers. You know, we could call this Sabrina Saturday for all, <laughs> all I want, you know. Uh, anyway, folks, I'm just chattering away like I normally do and I just wanted to show off little sweet Sabrina here another sleeping baby very calming 
my sleeping babies are very calming. I want to wish you all a very, very happy Saturday. I hope your weekend is wonderful. I hope uh, that you're all feeling well and that you have a lot of free time. And I want to thank you all for your comments and likes yesterday's on yesterday's video. Thank you so much with the boys. Um, I know I said uh, Sam's name twice as Kai. So, you know, I get scatterbrained too. That's aging. <laughs> My channel might, might, you know, just be about not just a nursery, but about all about aging, because seriously, aging is not for the faint of heart, folks. It truly is not. Um, it's a navigational process that we all must go through. And, um, and I'm finding it a really curious ride, truly. So that should conclude and will conclude today's little video. Thank you so much for staying to the end if you did. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.